Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, we want to model a parametric uh, movie strip, as you can see here. Uh, we can define the width, we can uh, rotate it like this, and also we can define the circle which we're going to make the flow. Uh, before I start the tutorial, uh, to understand it step by step, I'm going to explain what I have done to make the final results. So the first step uh, is let's just go to the shaded mode so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, first I'm going to make a simple strip on the ground which is a plain uh, surface. Then I'm going to use the twist command which I'm going to explain some tips and tricks you have to use to twist this surface plane, plane surface. So as you can see, I'm twisting it around an axis. I'm going to make that axis around that. Uh, after making the twist, we're going to flow it onto a circle and make the final result. As you can see, we're going to make a simple circle and flow it uh, around, I mean the twisted plane surface. And we'll finally have the Mobius surface. If I bake it, I will have that in Rhino and I can use it in my project. Uh, so let's get started from scratch and make this step by step. Uh, first of all, what I want to do is to make a plane surface. It's really easy. Uh, you can go to the surface menu and in the primitive, you can find the plane surface. This is the tool we want to use. And as you can see, the default is like X, Y, which is the XY plane. Uh, the X size is a domain, and there's a trick you can use here. The domain is like minus 10 to 10, and that is why like it's like minus 10 to 10 here, right? This is the domain of the plane surface, but we can do a trick here. If we connect a number slider, for example, if I connect a 12 to this X size, uh, it's going to be like 0 to 12, okay? That, that's the fastest way you can use a number slider with a domain and make it a number. So we really don't need domains here. I'm going to say from 1 to 100 with two decimals and just get rid of the title, connect it to the X. And as you can see, we can control the size of the X. Uh, we can also give it to the Y. But for now, the most important part is the X, which we want to make the twist. Okay, that's the base plane surface. Uh, the next step is to twist it. So you can go to the transform menu. And in the morph, we can see we have a tool called twist. And that is what we want to use. Uh, the twist command is really easy to use. We want to twist this plane surface. We're going to give that. The axis is a line. If you see it, you can see that it's a line input. Uh, what I want to do is to make a line on the backbone of this plane surface, right? This is the way we want to twist it around. Uh, so what I want to do here is to go to a curve and use this explode tool in the utility menu. When you connect a surface to a curve, it's going to uh, automatically convert it into a curve. For example, if I bake this, you can see it's converting the surface into a curve. So that's the fastest way you can use the explode tool. Okay, now we have like four segments. Uh, I'm going to use the set list item tool here to extract it. Remember that we can extract by list item and give it to the segments. The first edge is right here. The second edge is like here. And uh, it's like first, second, third, and the last one. So the first is okay. Uh, we just have to make the line uh, by going to the curve and selecting the midpoint, curve middle. You can just extract the mid of the edge. Uh, now we have to make the line. So I'm going to go to the curve and in the primitive we have this line SDL. Uh, the SDL means start. So 
we can give it a point which is exactly at the center right let me just uh, make this obvious this is at the mid edge uh, the uh, D means direction right which we want in the X direction and the L means the length which is obviously the length of the plane right so we need to use this start direction length tool start direction is obviously X double click and search for X and the length is this X size right so I'm going to give that to the length that is going to give us a parameter a uh, parametric backbone for the twist that's it we have to give it to the axis okay uh, the angle as you can see it's in radians uh, I'm going to right click here and make it in degrees so you can understand it easier so let's just use the degrees and give it a number slider for example from uh, 0 to 360 with two decimals and as I'm turning this you can see the twist let's turn everything off this is the length of the twist and this is the width okay for example if I uh, rotate this 360 degrees you can see that this is twisting okay uh, the most important part is to use this infinite as you can see here it says if true the deformation is constant throughout the object but uh, if it's not it's going to be like different so we have to make this true I'm going to right click and say invert to make it true and if you want to know what happened just set view to the top and see if it's false this is a little bit more concentrated at here, right? But when I make it uh, true, it's going to be completely a good twist that we need. Okay, let's go to the perspective and work with this angle. Uh, if we want to make this twist on a complete uh, turn in the Mobius strip, I mean, uh, we have to work like 180 degrees 360 degrees right so uh, because if we don't do that you can see that this edge is not going to uh, connect to the starting edge uh, we can easily do that by double clicking and saying 180 degrees in a panel just control x we will copy paste it and then multiply that in the math section with a number slider so for example 0 to 5 turns that is going to give us the number of turns and give it to the angle okay that's going to help us and now that we have this we have to make the movie strip by using flow transform morph and here we have this flow so the geometry we want to flow is this twisted strip uh, as you can see here there is two parts it's the base curve and the target curve okay uh, we want to give this base as the backbone of the strip and the target a circle so it just morphs onto a circle because we wanted to make a Mobius strip, right? It's a complete circle there. Uh, now I'm going to give the base the Linus DL and the target is going to be a circle. Curve, primitive, and circle we have it here, right? So I'm going to give this a circle. Give this, give this a number slider so we can control the radius and give that to the target and that's it you can see how easy it is to make the circle 
make the terms and control the the length is not going to uh, do anything because it's twisting and make it uh, make it a complete turn on uh, the curve on the circle I mean right so the most important is the widths that is going to help us to control the widths so we can obviously even if we put that to one it's going to work so just get rid of that and maybe just make it a one the reason when I disconnected this the problem for this one is that because it was a domain right the surface was not in the center and the here the line of steel was wrong right so that was the reason that we made it okay and now we are good to go we can just control the y size and have this Mobius strip and use it in our project we can even bake that you can see how easy it is to make a Mobius strip for example if I put this to one turn it's complete Mobius strip and we will use that in our project. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. I hope that this tutorial was useful for you. Uh, for those who want to work this as an advanced lesson, we have made a complete tutorial, which we are going to uh, work with other techniques and convert that into a complete uh, a movie or strip with some volume. As you can see, it's like a mesh here. And if I just bake that, you can see that we can have that in Rhino. Give it some thickness, maybe make some frames and windows. So if you want to learn more and go to step four, because we have to take three more steps to make this, uh, be sure to enroll in our course. I'm going to put the link down in the description uh, if you want to uh, get more information. But if you also want to download this, example file for free you can also head down to the description and download the definition easily from our website uh, by making these simple steps to make the mobius strip in grasshopper okay thanks for watching uh, remember to like this video so more of the users can watch this and get notified and share it with your friends see you next time bye